Tanya, you waited a long time to uh, make your USC debut. I'm sure things didn't go the way you'd hoped tonight, but uh, how did you feel overall, just the comfort level of walking to the UFC, you know, walking to the Octagon and, and the overall experience? Uh, it felt great, really no excuses. I just feel like I fought like a pussy, but um, you know, it is what it is, so. I think most people say just the opposite, that yes, you may have gotten hurt pretty early, uh, but you battled back and, and showed a lot more than you know, most people that didn't know who you were would give you credit for. I mean, do you take any solace in the fact that you, you were able to push her a little bit and show your resiliency and your durability? Um, I'm just disappointed I didn't at least go five rounds. I think that uh, I don't know why I went down. I don't know why I didn't get up. Uh, I don't know. I just, no excuses, really. We talk about not fighting the way you'd hoped. Uh, I mean, we talk a lot about Cyborg and her aura and her intimidation and her presence. I mean, when you got in there and, and stood across the cage, was it more than you expected? Um, no, I mean, I expected her to be as good as she was. Um, I just expected more out of myself than anything. I guess the, the bright side is, and I'm, I'm <laughs> assuming the next fight is at 135 pounds. I mean, have you talked to the UFC yet? Did they, did they let you know, hey, of course, we're going we're gonna to have you back. We're going to do this at 135? Yeah, next fight is definitely at 35 uh, Obviously, I'll fight anybody, so let's do it. Tonya, uh, here. What was the most challenging thing inside the octagon? Was like the new weight division? Was uh, your opponent? Was like the, the bigger <coughs> show? What was what was the most challenging thing there? Um, obviously, just the the weight difference. I think that I I wasn't expecting um, her to be so heavy and so strong, but uh, you know, I knew she was going to be bigger than me. I just didn't expect it to be that much difference. <clears throat> Hello, Tony. Hey. Do you think it's possible for the USC build like a really good 145? I can't hear you. Do you think it's possible for USC build a 145 division, really good one? To do a 145 pound division? Do you think it's possible for the USC build uh, build a 145 pound division? Oh. Yeah, definitely. I just think that uh, they got to pick up the girls for the other people do all the other promotions. I think that. Um, the girls are running all over, signing with whoever they can get money offers from right off the bat. So I think that's kind of just what happened. But I think there's a lot of talent out there. And obviously, I think when 25-pound division opens up, you'll see a lot of talent move around, and, and it's going to mix up the weight classes too. And obviously, I think with the 45, as long as the girls aren't scared to fight. So. And Tanya, you mentioned that you, you didn't fight like you feel like you wanted to. Um, do you think that headlining, co-headlining such a big card had, a, had an effect on your, your strategy and your game plan? No. <laughs> um, I just felt like I kind of beat myself. I felt like, uh, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I felt like I was on the downside of that slope. Nothing was landing. I kind of felt like I, my, nothing I was doing was working. And it, to be honest, it wasn't anything, the show or anything that got me off. Thank you. Hey, Tanya, I know you're, you're very disappointed, but it has been a very long road for you, and there was a time maybe where you thought you didn't think maybe you would make it to this point. Is there any part of you that is allowing yourself to at least be proud <laughs> that you made it to the UFC and went three rounds with Cyborg? Uh, I just wanted to go five or, or win the fight is what I wanted, so um, I don't know, just back to work, I guess. Y'all trying to make me cry up here. <laughs> Do you feel the sense that I got was that you gained a lot of respect from people? Like your toughness was just as much a story as her winning the title. Have you sensed that at all? Have you received that kind of feedback? Um, I mean, yeah, but you know, I just feel disappointed in uh, not making it five rounds. That sucks. So that would have been a moral victory for you, just going the distance with her? Yeah, I just wanted to, to go the distance or, or you know, um, <laughs> prove I was tough enough too. Right. And lastly, any serious injuries? No. 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 Thank you. <laughs>